That evening, they went to a banquet at the Imperial Palace to meet the Emperor, unseen throughout the tour. For the occasion, the princess wore her most stunning dress of the tour, a clinging blue silk affair by the Japanese designer Yuki, who's based in London. With it, a headband of diamonds with a sapphire in the center. She was bowed into the plain, formal elegance of the palace. In an anteroom, His Imperial Majesty Hirohito, 60 years on the chrysanthemum throne, survivor of a devastating world war, now looked upon by many Japanese as once more a god emperor. He's an often taciturn man, and the setup didn't encourage animated conversation. It's not easy to talk when your host is the far side of a large flower arrangement. It was the princess who walked into dinner with the emperor, trying to match his measured tread. And it was the princess who, with gestures, finally started the talk going. In return, the emperor, though of course he outranks the princess, deferred to her and waited until she was seated. The table was beautifully set, the atmosphere not a little starchy. But it did seem that slowly the old gentleman's heart was warm. They went straight to the airport in their evening clothes. The tour across the Pacific was almost over. For sheer hard work on both their parts, it will take some beating, and the fainting episode has left a nasty memory. But there are memories of happiness, of wonder, and fun, too. Time now only for a wifely warning. Watch your head.